Let's start off this video by saying thank you to Quindina for giving me 500 platinum. You rock. Thank you so much. And to Mountain for giving me a black garden key. You guys are amazing. Oh boy. I noticed a head was floating in the middle of the room when I made this character on Zavial EU servers, but I didn't realize it was my head. Look at that. My freaking head is in the middle of the room. This is not a good start to this new start. As you guys can see, I have made characters on the EU server, specifically on Zaviel. And I wanted to see how fast I can get to level 10 in order to uh, get right into PvP. So I made several tests. This character here, I went ahead and turned on the buff that makes it to where my patron uh, pass does not give me extra experience. That way I can actually time how fast I can get through these encounters here and get into level 10 as fast as possible to start PvPing because I know that's what I want to do and a lot of you guys want to do that too whenever you make a new character. So I rushed right through it. This character here has no buffs whatsoever to increase his experience. So it was a little bit slow since I had to hard cast all of my spells but at least I was able to get through it without too much headache. It seemed like most of the time spent leveling up was waiting on stuff so it was like I would trigger this thing and then I had to wait for the boss to spawn and then whenever he'd finally spawn it was usually a two shot kind of ordeal. I would usually use this time to go ahead and sell any items in my bags because if you don't know you can open up the rift store and go to one of the buy tabs such as look at the drinks or whatever and you can sell all the stuff in your bags if you need to to make more room and as you can see the guy goes down extremely fast it was all about waiting on him and if you don't know that you have to go through the entire new player tutorial before you can do anything else so I went ahead and finished up that and as soon as I got to the other side I went ahead and did a couple of quests that are kind of mandatory on the other side such as uh, learning about your soul tree normally I just went ahead and started that and then I would cancel it as soon as it would start the whole video process and then I would go down and uh, do the part where I learned about my soul recall which would also give me the soul recall so I would have it on my character the next thing you do is what really makes this whole process pop and it is if you have the Tempest Bay insignia from the loyalty tree you go ahead and use that or if you have somebody in your guild that can put down a rally banner in Tempest Bay and summon you there then this is where you want to be because this quest here is meant for level 60s or at least over level 48 so to say so with you being so low a level it's going to be a huge experience boost just doing this one thing and basically it has you run around uh, tempest bay and talk to these particular people all you have to do is click them and you're done and then go back and turn in the quest at the same person Unfortunately, this method here only got me to level 9, halfway to 10, so it didn't accomplish the goal that I was wanting to do. Maybe if I would have done a couple more of the quests in the, as soon as I got out of the newbie zone, that might have worked. But unfortunately, it didn't work all the way this way. And the next method we ended up using was just the 40% bonus from being a patron. So at the end of this one, it ended up speeding up the process by about a minute or two. It wasn't all that substantial, but it did help out some. And in the final test that we ended up doing was with every single experience boost that we could get, such as the 160% from a potion and 40% from patron pass. What did it end up doing? Well, it just sped up the process by another one or two minutes. Not really that substantial. So the question is, is it worth using potions to get 
to level 10 the fastest? No. No, the answer is no, it isn't. Because it's just one or two minutes, and even if you don't have patron pass, it's only three or four minutes total extra. So just do it with whatever you have. Don't add anything to it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little experiment. As usual, my name is Grim, and I will see you next time.